Hey guys, Caleb here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the FF7 Remake speculation. There's a lot of things in the recent trailer that were actually kind of questionable, and I'm going to go over those topics. I'm not going to spoil them right now, obviously, because that kind of defeats the purpose of you watching the whole video. So, anyway, obviously the, the most recent trailer was amazing. Uh, you guys saw my reaction video. That actually got a lot of traction, a lot more than I thought it would. So it was pretty good. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos out there like discussing whether it was too much. You know, I did think it was a little too much to show like in one trailer. I was talking about how it probably would have been better if they actually divided that trailer into two parts and then made it a specific theme for each. Because there was a lot there, a lot of information to take in. So now I'm really curious as to what the next trailer can be as far as what Square is going to show us. Because I feel like at this point, they've shown us a lot. So I don't really know. But uh, anyway, we're going to go over what is kind of my current question. First, actually, the Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. There's a lot of attention on those, way more than there was the original game. And I'm actually curious, because it's a remake, it's not the original, it's not like they're, you know, just regurgitating what they've already done. I am actually very curious to know if there will be a playable section, because there are three people. You can have three people in your party, you know, um, so Biggs, Jesse, Wedge, it only makes sense to have it to uh, have a section a particular section to where you can actually play them and i think that would actually be really cool i'm not saying square actually have to do this but i think it's be interesting to show like what could they kind of did like behind the scenes because obviously you can't really do that in the original uh you just kind of go into the reactor and do some stuff and you climb up the tower and you know down goes jesse but by the way i don't think she'll die because fan service and they made it really hot so I think people would be pretty pissed anyway they do that whole thing and you don't really get too much information on what they did but I think in the remake since it's a remake and it would actually milk more game content it's just an easy kind of thing I'm actually very curious to know if there will be a playable section I think it'd be really cool um, all three characters have unique abilities so I think it could work I think it'd be super cool to have something like that the next thing I want to talk about is the section in the trailer where they're kind of creating materia I guess but they're making there's three materia in this tube and they're red and we all know that red materia and Final Fantasy 7 are summon materia so that's a bit of a question of how many summons will there be? We've already no, we've already been confirmed that Ifrit, Shiva, and Leviathan are in the game, based on what we've seen, and the fact that Leviathan in there is just crazy. The other scenes actually of previous trailers look like you have the summons, like in the Shinra building. But it's hard to say or not whether you get those before or after you do the stuff and go in the Shinra building and all that stuff. So I don't really know, but that is something to it's like a hidden detail. It's probably not something people really talk about because they get distracted by Scarlet. And it, Scarlet happens like right after this and the scene only, ta only takes like three seconds. They're just talking about Materia Fusion and whatever. So... That's just like kind of thrown in there. Uh, leave in the comments below what you think that could be. And then Red 13, will he be playable? Now, also, what's interesting about the recent trailer is not the fact that Red 13 is in it, but we're also fighting a Genova spawn, actually. And who knows if that's going to be the final boss? I have no clue. Usually the final boss of Disc 1 or, or Midgar, as we know, because a lot of people are just saying, hey, where's Motorball? Will we ever see him? Is he going to be the final boss? Like, they're talking to me like I'm the creator of the game. Like, they're trying to force answers out of me. And, like, I don't know. I, mean, I, know, I know as much as you do. Like, it's just ridiculous. But the fact that uh, the Nova spawn means that, you know, that's 
in the game. I mean, and then Red 13 is helping you. Whether or not he'll be playable, I'm not sure. But obviously he makes his appearance, says his really cool stuff or whatever. If he will be playable, you will have five characters that you can switch between. Tifa, Cloud, Eris, Barrett, and Red 13. But you don't see Red 13 as part of the party in any of those scenes at all. He is apparently helping out during the Genova fight, though, which is kind of weird because that's not really how it is for any other fights. Like, you know, if you had a party of uh, Barrett, Tifa, Cloud, it's not, you don't really see Eris like being a guest character, like during the fight or whatever. By the way, I call it Eris because I play FF7 a lot. And whenever I go to name her, it says Eris. So pardon me whenever I say Eris and not Aerith. Fucking weebs. Anyway, so that's something that people were asking about. They came, they, they constantly say, Red 13 is not playable. Sad face. But you don't know. You really don't know that. And it's just kind of up in the air right now. Uh, maybe during the next trailer they will touch up a bit more on that. So... There's, there's that. And then lastly, what I want to talk about is the honeybee end scene. Now, normally in the game, you get dressed up, you know, you can, you can walk around Wall Market, obviously. You can't do, like, too much. I mean, you can still do, like, your normal stuff, I guess. You do get, like, different dialogue and whatever. But in this one, uh, the honeybee end scene could be like more elaborate and then like the pre honeybee end scene could be uh you know because that is wall market in the trailer obviously it, I, I hope it is i know it's a remake but you know let's not change that aspect so it's kind of uh hard to say like what you'll be able to do because th there'll probably be like exclusive things that you can do as dressed up cloud versus like normal cloud right and it shows also, you can uh, play as Aerith has her as a single character, you know? It's hard to say also what you'll be able to do as her, but there is a, se a scene where you are playing as Cloud, you're walking around doing some stuff, so hopefully, I mean, guys, they say that this game is going to be as long or longer than the original game, so, you know, let's milk as much content as we can out of it. So, there better be some damn stuff that you can do as exclusive cloud, because that would be not cool. You can't just, like, get dressed up, go to the honeybee, and then you're done. So, anyway, that's going to be for today's video. I do have a lot of Final Fantasy VII stuff ideas that I am going to make videos on. I've said that before, but I actually mean business, because I was in my stream, and we were talking about ideas for the YouTube channel, so... I've got some good stuff cooking. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like the content, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and my Twitch. And more importantly, don't forget to sub to the YouTube channel. Thank you.